Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to deep clean a Roborock S5 Max. Yuck. So I didn't clean the filter or the dustbin just for this video. Um, here I am wiping out the dustbin. The cleaner you can get your vacuum whether it be a robotic vacuum or a stand-up upright vacuum or a shop vac, the more suction it will have. So just do your best and clean everything out. Be sure that you get inside all the nooks and crannies. Sometimes you do have to use other tools such as a screwdriver or Q-tips to get the stuff out. Here's the new filter that I have. That's one step down. Next, you have to clean out the vents where the filter filters into the air. And I'm wiping the inside down. Here I'm removing the beater bar brush area, the guard I guess. And removing the two tiny little brushes on the side of the guard. Again, clean the guard off. And here I'm just using soapy water. And the paper towel. And Q-tip, of course. That goes in the trash. It was used up. Wipe out that area as well. And remove the side bristles. Now, if you go past this point, you will void your warranty. But stay tuned because you might want to. So there's a few screws to remove. Some of these screws are going to be underneath a little plastic or rubber bit and removing that rubber bit will cause it to show that you've tampered with it. However, like I said, something that you might want to do but if you don't feel comfortable with it or if you don't want to avoid that warranty certainly do not do what I'm doing I'm just showing you what I did and I removed that cover and if you see here that is where your motor is and that is caked full of dirt and debris That's nasty. And here's the battery. So if you were to try to, repl if you needed to ever replace your battery, that's how you do it. This is a dry Q-tip. I'm just trying to brush some of the debris away. And here I'm using a shop vac to vacuum everything out. Do not use any water on any of these contacts. Because if you use water on there, 
we might as well just brick it. So place the battery back in. Wipe down the top. Place the top back in place with each of the screws. Hopefully you didn't lose any. Put on the side brush. And a brand new beater bar. and put the little screws back in on the beater bar guard. A little bit of wa soapy water to wipe all the sensors. And it's good as new. Please like, subscribe, and comment, let me know what you think. Hey, it still works.